my name is Tina Diller with Quilting Affection Designs and welcome to week three of the April Showers Mystery Quilt. For the last couple of weeks, we've covered the umbrella and the raindrop lots and how to put this together. So this week, we're going to make the flowers and attach them to the other blocks. The flower blocks are very similar to the raindrops we made last week. The only difference is how we make the center square for the corner beam unit. They will measure four and a half unfinished and you'll need to make a total of five flowers, two yellow and three pink flower blocks. You'll need the Studio 180 Design corner beam and the squared squared rulers to complete these fun blocks. So let's get started making the flower blocks. To make the flower blocks, you will need the following. One, four inch strip of fabric, light blue. Five, three and a quarter, light blue and green squares. Five, two and a quarter by four inch rectangles, they're green. Five, two and a quarter green squares. Three, two and a quarter pink squares. And two and a quarter yellow squares. Please refer to your pattern for cutting instructions. So let's get started making the centers for our corner beam units first. To get started making our centers for our corner beams, we're going to need the following pieces. Our two and a quarter inch squares, the pink, the yellows, and the greens, and the two and a quarter by four inch rectangles. We're going to begin by sewing our yellow and green squares together. And then you're going to press your seams open and then you're going to attach your two and a quarter by four inch on the bottom and making sure the yellow is in the left hand corner of our unit. Once you get this all sewn it will be all pressed open. All the seams will be pressed open. Now you may want to use a scant seam allowance for this part. And you'll repeat to make two yellow blocks and three pink blocks. Now we're ready to cut our blocks for our corner beam units. Okay, now we're ready to cut out the center beam for our corner beam unit. To do that, we're going to need our corner beam tool once again. Remembering that we need to cut from the center beam line trim one and the center beam line number two for this block. So we're going to use the dash line, the center beam one, line it up, and we're going to be making sure the slant goes right next to the yellow on both sides. And we're also going to be lining up on that again on that three inch finished unit line. So go ahead and line it up. And once you have it all lined up, you can make your cut. You want to make sure both lines are matching up as much as possible. And go ahead and use your rotary cutter and cut it along that diagonal line. You have your first cut. Your second cut for the center beam will be on the dot dot dash line for the two number two center beam trim line. And you're going to line it up and make your second cut. And you'll be on the other side of that yellow square. You have now made your center beam for your corner beam unit. So next, well, all you have to do is do your side triangles and we'll be able to sew those together. So when we come back, we'll go ahead and cut our side triangles and begin sewing. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and make our side triangles. You're going to need your four inch strip of fabric and you're also going to need your corner beam tool. 
you're going to use your side tr triangles trim line number one line first so we're going to take that line that bold line line it up on the edge of our strip we're going to make sure our three inch finished unit line here is lined up um, and that bold line is lined up also we're going to make our first cut to make the second cut we're going to go 90 degrees and find our second trim line here and we're going to use this side triangle trim number two line as our placement line for the edge of our diagonal here so we'll line our ruler up once again up and we have a good matching lines and we'll cut across you will repeat until you have all of the side triangles done for your units. To sew them on your center beam, you're going to line them up again with your narrow ends at the bottom of your center beam and the longer ends are at the top with the bias going down the edge of both of those. So we're going to take our unit we're going to flip it over and you're going to take it and make sure that you have just a little bit of the side triangle hanging over line it all the way down the edge and do a good quarter of an inch seam allowance and then press open you're going to repeat on the other side so when we come back we'll do the other side and discuss the trimming process. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and make our first trim line for our um, centers. So remember, you're gonna to need to make two of the yellow centers and three of the pink centers. So now that we have our side triangles done, let's go ahead and make our trims. So let's go ahead with the yellow and take our square or corner beam ruler and we're going to line up our line placement lines and the remember the x at the top lines up in the tip of our be bottom of our beam so let's go ahead and line that up you want to make sure you're staying in that three and a half inch line here and making sure your lines on your placement lines line up on your seams now you have everything lined up go ahead and make your first trim line so now we're ready to take our square squared ruler and from the center square line we're going to find our three and a half inch strip line and we're going to line that line up on the nice clean edge that we just made placing our ruler down and making sure that diagonal goes down the center we're going to go ahead and then from this side we're going to make our second trim line now we have a perfect center for our square and square units. So remember you're going to do that for your yellows and pinks. So now we're going to take our three and a quarter inch squares, the green and the light blue, and we're going to make diagonal lines like we did last week down the center of our unit. repeat for the blues making sure you line everything up down the center from point to point okay you're going to do that for as many as you need for all of your units now we're going to go ahead and put these to the side for a second and we're going to place our center for our square and a square down we're also we're, so we're going to now show you how to place these 
on for your sewing them. You're going to take your greens and they're going to sit on the bottom of your flower unit. So your blues will sit on the top. Remember to have the right sides facing up and you're going to go ahead and sew your two sides on first then press out and then continue on for your second sides and when we come back we'll be able to trim it up and start putting our blocks together okay our square and a square unit is all sewn you'll notice that you have green at the bottom of your flower and you'll have blue at the top for your your grass and your sky so now we're going to take our square squared ruler and we're going to find our four and a half inch block size and make sure we look for our four X's also. So we're going to go ahead and place our ruler on top, lining up our X's, our four inch X's in the center of our seam lines. Once you have that done, you're going to make your first cut. And go ahead and make your cuts. Now we're going to rotate it 180 degrees and you're going to do your second cut. Now you need to remember that you need to do this. You need to make two yellow flower units and three pink flower units. So they'll look like this when you complete. And they'll measure four and a half. So now we're ready to start our assembly. Okay, we're gonna begin sewing our rows together and attaching them to the top half of our April Showers quilt. So we're also gonna to need to cut from the light blue one and a half by four and a half, and you're gonna need four of these rectangles like we did last week. So we're gonna set these aside for a second and we're gonna move these blocks out of the way. And we're gonna bring in our bottom part of our umbrella blocks that have already been sewn together. And we're gonna take two pink blocks and we're gonna place them on both sides. And we're gonna go ahead and take them to the sewing machine and we're gonna do our quarter of an inch seam allowance. And then we're gonna to press towards the outside. So when we come back, we'll have that done and ready for our next row. Okay, we have our first row done for the flowers. Now we're ready to make our second row. We're gonna take the remaining of our blocks and we're gonna put the pink in the middle and the two yellow blocks on the outside. Then you're gonna take your one and a half by four and a half inch blocks, rectangles, and place them in between flowers and on the ends of the flowers. You're gonna take these to your sewing machine and then when you come back to the pressing, to press them, make sure you press towards the rectangles as we did in the raindrop blocks. When we return, we're gonna go ahead and assemble our two rows together for the rest of our quilt. Okay, we have our bottom row and our top row complete. Now remember on your bottom row, you're gonna to press towards your rectangles units. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and flip this over and like last week, make sure you pin everything together and sew a good quarter of an inch seam allowance. And then when you're done, completely press towards your top row. So when we come back, we'll be ready to attach this part 
to our top of our quilt. Okay, we have our rows completely sewn together and we've pressed them towards the top. So now we're gonna attach them to the rest of our quilt right underneath our umbrellas, our bottom umbrella row. So you're gonna, once again, take your two rows, flip it over on top of your umbrella row and you're gonna line everything up and pin. Take one in at a time like we have been and now we can distribute everything and we can line up our seam in our middle also and then pin when necessary or nest at the seams. Once you have it all pinned, you will take it to your sewing machine and do a good quarter of an inch seam allowance and press like we have been towards the top. Once we return, we will have our quilt complete. We've just completed our flower blocks and assembled them to our April Showers quilt. Thank you for joining me and be sure to come back next week as we finish up the April Showers mystery quilt.